want to do how to change your own oil in a 2007 h3 there's a couple things you got to take apart underneath the engine before you can do the oil change the first step you got to get a jack under here use a little jack stand if you want to level it out a little bit that one's not holding the weight i use my floor jack to hold the weight of the vehicle this will give me a little bit more room under here so you got to take this one off the silver one and then you got to take this black one off so both of these have to come off before you can change the oil just start with the silver one here this is your first one to take off so there's actually only a total of six for for both pieces because these two middle ones get used in the middle pieces for both of them a half inch socket will get all the bolts out they're all the same size having a little bit longer deep socket will make your life easier so you're not hitting your knuckles on anything So the back piece is loose, so you usually want to, you want to try to support it just so you don't break it in the back. If I just drop this piece, you might break it in the back where those two other bolts are. You need to loosen them and then it'll slide out. So you just support it with one hand. It just slides and drops just like that. So now that you got that off, your drain plug is right here. That's your drain plug. It's a 15 millimeter socket. And then you just take that off with a regular ratchet. It's pretty simple. You want to get a good oil pan or bucket to catch the oil before you drain that. That's why I lifted the vehicle a little bit. It gives clearance down here. And the oil filter is right here. So you need to get an oil wrench to get in there and grab that. It's fun to try to do if you don't have an oil wrench. But for like six bucks, you get yourself a little oil filter wrench and that makes your life a lot easier. All right, let's get to draining the oil. If you care about your driveway at all, make sure you have a carpet down and then a bucket to catch the oil. So when you pull that plug, it's gonna come flying out of there. You need to be ready for it. Definitely want to keep it off your driveway. Make sure you do this when the motor is not hot. You don't want hot oil dumping all over your hands, so make sure you do this when the motor is cold. Makes this part a lot easier. Put a little pressure on the plug so when you feel the last thread, when you feel the last thread in there, you can pull out the bolt real fast and get out of the way. It makes a little bit of a mess, but as long as you're catching it in a bucket, you should be all right. Just let that drain for a little while. Once this is down to a couple drips, you can go ahead and put your plug back in. That way you can use the same bucket to pull your filter out and drain your filter as well. Now we got to pull our oil filter out. So what's nice about these Hummers is they have a little like spout for the oil to come down into your bucket. I just had to wiggle my uh, little oil wrench up in here. I put it above these lines just so it would hold itself. And you just play with it till it kind of loosens it. It's pretty simple. I mean, it really wasn't hard. It's hard for me to do with the camera in my hand, but I mean, it's really simple. Once you wiggle it and get it to tighten onto that filter, and the oil is going to pour down here right into my bucket.
That little thing works pretty good. So I got the old filter out. And here's the new filter. I got the XL Extended Life one. And this is the wrench that I got it out with. I had a little bit of a hard time trying to get it through this little hole here. So what I did was actually grab it and I went up and over these tubes and then I pulled it out above it and it came out pretty easily. It is hard for me to hold the camera while doing it. So now I'm going to just put a little oil into the new filter, wet the ring and stick it back up in there. After a little bit of rustling with the filter and the wrench over these two hoses, I was able to tighten up the filter pretty good. Now I just got to tighten up the drain plug and add some oil. At least the hard part's over. Make sure you do not forget to tighten your drain plug. Alright, now we got to put these two back in and then we're all done. Put them back in the same way you took them out. Now that everything underneath is done, now we can top her off. Just add the oil here. It says right on it, recommended 5W30. If you have like over 200,000 miles on it, you can add 10W30. A lot of people, when they get over 200,000 miles, they'll go with a heavier oil. They'll switch to 10W30. If you got an oil leak or whatever, sometimes switching to a thicker oil can help slow down the oil leak. Obviously, stick to what's recommended if you have no issues of losing oil then stick to 5w30 it takes six quarts of oil so what i do is i add a oil stabilizer treatment as the six quart i put this in first it helps um it helps your dry starts the wear of your engine so it's super high mild motors i always add this on a six quart on a six quart engine i add this and then five quarts is full synthetic just like I do on my truck. So just dump this in and then dump that in. You're pretty much done. This stuff is super thick. So this helps slow down any leaks in your motor. I believe this helps your motor last a lot longer when you got high miles on it already. This will just help it run smoother. It'll just help stick to everything so it'll it'll slow the wear of your your bearings. This will help seal up anywhere that oil's getting out. I've always noticed my engines run so much better after I add this to it. Alrighty, let's add the oil. And you're done. Pretty simple. And that's how to change the oil on an 07 Hummer H3. Thanks for watching.